afternoon, morning, evening to all of you. Um, whenever you're watching this, whatever day, um, hello. So excited to be back for another day of ESL, English as a Second Language. Um, we are going to do a lesson today that um, may be familiar to some of you um, that we kind of covered um, when we were still in school, um, but a little different, and I'm excited to be with you guys today. Hope you're all doing well. Miss Grooms is fine. Haven't been doing much. Taking a lot of walks. Um, keeping my apartment clean. And playing with Jones, who... Well, he's hiding right now. That's okay. He might make a special appearance. I'm sure he will. He's very annoying. So let's get started with the lesson today. Um, our journal today... Um, or our do now today will be a journal. So if you have something to write on, that would be great. If not, that's okay too. Um, let me make myself a little bit smaller. Let me bring up that presentation. Online learning fun. All right. Online learning fun. So as always, you need to pay attention. Um, stop the video if you have to or you need to. And if I ask you to repeat after me, repeat after me. So we can work on your speaking, okay? So all you need is a pencil and paper, okay? And there's going to be a couple times in this presentation where I might ask you to text me. If you don't want to or you can't, that's all right. Um, I did not add these pictures. Okay, so your journal for your do now. Right over here, I have a quote. It says, if you want to be powerful, educate yourself. And in Spanish, it's, si quieres ser poderoso, edu educate. Edu educate. Um, of course, Brian, <laughs> uh, tú puedes um, leer en español. So, um, so if you want to write this down or you want to um, text it to me, that's fine. So I have two questions for you. What does this quote mean? ¿Qué significa este cita? And I have another question. Why is education important? ¿Por qué es importante la educación? And how does it make you powerful? Um, ¿Cómo te hace um, poderoso? How does it make you powerful? Why is it important? And especially in a time like this where you, you literally have to educate yourself, um, why is it so important? How does it make you powerful? If you want to stop the video and write it, or text me, or tell your mom, that's fine. That's our do now for the day. So I'm going to give you five seconds to pause. <laughs> All right, we are moving on. Let's go over our learning target for today. Repeat after me. Today I can read a passage so that I can evaluate an argument in writing. So what are we yelling about today? We are going to look at a letter that someone has written um, una carta, and we are going to decide, is it a good argument or is it a bad argument? So let's look at some of the vocab. An argument, in Espanol's argumento, it's an exchange of opposing views. So like, I can think one thing, Felipe can do a different thing, and we have different arguments. For example, some arguments is, I think Americans should learn a second language. I think school lunches should be better. I think healthcare should be free. I think cigarettes could you ban. These are all my arguments and they can be different. So you can think differently than me. You can think that school lunches are should not be better. You can think that Americans should not learn a second language. We are going to see someone's argument today. Let's look at another word, evaluate. It is a verb, it's an action. Um, in Espanol, this evaluar okay and it's to judge you are deciding is it good 
or is it bad? So let's look at two arguments today. The first one says we should cancel school because of the coronavirus because I hate school and I don't want to do homework. Hmm. Is that a good argument or a bad argument? It's not whether you agree with it or not. It's whether you think that it's a good argument or bad argument. Let's look at the second one. Sorry, my nose itches so much. I got hair on my face. This says we should cancel school because of the coronavirus to protect ourselves from sickness. Is that a good argument or a bad argument? I think it's good because it's using facts and not just, this is what I think. That's not important. All right, our last vocab word is a claim, declaración. Um, it's a statement that supports or proves it. We've done this before in the past, our pros and cons. Um, it's a prove it kind of thing. Like, I think school should be canceled because of the coronavirus. That's my argument. Here's my claim. School's dumb. I hate homework. Claim.